Uh, Shalom. All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahshad Bashim, Kakadash. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles, Great Millstone. In citation, you are can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, the Lord's commandments are not grievous. So, uh, I'm starting to soften in Deuteronomy 30, 30 and verse 11. It says, for this commandment, which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. So the commandments are not hidden from our our knowledge, you know, it's been um, showed to us what the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Bashin Yahshai. Um, uh, verse 12 says, It is not in heaven that thou should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it? unto us that we may hear it and do it um cause he, these lost sex commandments basically are not hard to do um you know this this basically this this wisdom and knowledge and understanding was showed to us before and now it's been reopened to us again. Um, it says, thir verse 13, Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it. Because And verse 14 says, But the word is very nigh unto thee in my mouth and in my, thy heart that thou mayest do it. Because this word, this, this, the, the, the law, statute, commandments, uh, which the whole book, uh, the word precept means commandment. So the whole book is uh, the laws. You know the guidelines on how to live. You know, um, it's not grievous to not commit adultery. It's not grievous to not eat pork. You know, all that is simply easy to do. You know, um, easy to stop doing. You know, if you're eating pork, I would say easy. At first, if you really think about it. Pork is um, very, um, the pig can't die from poison, you know, um, and, you know, pork is like a, gar a, 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 you know, a pig is like a garbage disposal, um, committing adultery, <clears throat> a man shouldn't deal with another man's wife, um, you shouldn't even be around another man's wife. You should even know her. Like you really shouldn't even know of her. You should stay far away from another man's wife. If you have that um, thing, uh, that's one of your, you know, your triggers to being around another man's wife. You know, you separate yourself from that man's wife. Um, uh, Keeping the Sabbath day holy, that that's easy and simple, you know. Um you know these these large ass commandments are not grievous to do, you know. Um and all these secrets, all all this stuff is revealed unto the prophets. And it's being preached 
out here on the highways and byways week in and week out. It's not grievous to follow these commandments. You know, it's a commandment to go out on the highways and byways week in and week out. You know? So that's not a grievous thing either. Um, if you think about it, it's all, you know, simple. But, um, I'm going to go to uh, 1 John uh, 5 and verse 3. It's 1 John 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. And the commandments, the 613 Law, statutes, commandments are not grievous. You know, the whole Bible uh, is not grievous to follow. You know, it says, For whosoever is born of Yahweh overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So, having faith. Because the law says commandments is not going to save you. You know, it's your faith that and your works that actually save you. You know, it's, you know, like it says, I know thy faith by thy works. You know, your faith and your how about you your shy and your works show your faith. You know, you know, you can't have faith without works is dead. You know, you got to believe and have faith in how about you y'all shy and have works to match, you know? Um and it says in Hebrews Hebrews uh eleven verse six says But without faith it is impossible to please him. So if you don't have faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh y'all shot. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you know you gotta have faith, uh, and you also have to have works. But you know if you diligently seek. Uh, you how about me all shy and true for sincerity you know you believe uh he is which yahweh yeah, means uh yahweh yeah, means he is uh, yeah um I was gonna go to uh next scripture I'm gonna go to first Corinthians um ten verse thirteen says it's first Corinthians ten verse thirteen there has no temptation taken you but such as is common to man but Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but will with the temptation also make it a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it cause Yahweh is not going to put nothing on you that you cannot uh, handle you know he's always going to make a way out for you to um to come out of what you're going through, you know. Um, like, say, if you're um, feeling you yourself drifting away a little bit, uh, how about Shin Yal Shah is gonna find a, uh, a solution for you to to 
you know, come out of that, that state of mind state of drifting away. You know, like it says in scripture, a just man falleth seven times, but get back up again. So, yeah, how about Shem Yasha is always going to make a way, a, a, a solution for your problem, you know? A solution for your, how, the, for the way you, the path you're, the way you are in right now, you know? He's not going to, and <clears throat> if you're being tempted, you know, it's not of, um, it's not of Yahweh Bashan Yahshai. Because Yahweh Bashan Yahshai can't. Um, he's not. Um, he can't tempt you to do evil. You know, that's not of to do evil. <clears throat> you know, he. Everything is balanced with him. So, like it says, if you're going through trials and tribulations there's always going to be a way out of uh there's going to be always a solution to that to um bring you out of that time of hardship you know that time of of you going through something you know um i'm gonna go to judith i'm gonna go to judith 8 and 25 uh, this Judith 8 and 25 it says moreover let us give thanks to Yahweh our power which trieth us even as he did our fathers because we all got to go through the fire we got to go through that spiritual fire to be purified you know to be tested we always got we all we always going through uh tests it's it's up to us to prove that we could pass the test at the time we're tested you know um because you know how about you know tested our our forefathers before us so they passed those tests they they went through it and they came out um on the other side Passing that test because they had faith, and how Bashin Yasha would deliver them out of that situation at that time, and they didn't care what the outcome would be. You know, if the Lord is with them, who can be against them? You know, at that time, uh, the Lord can put them in that situation and get them out. Uh, verse 26 says, Remember what things. He did to Abraham and how he tried Isaac and what happened to Jacob in Mesopotamia of Syria where he kept the sheep of Laban his mother's brother for he have not tried us in the fire as he did them for the example of their hearts neither has he taken vengeance on us but Yahweh do have scourge them that cometh near unto him to admonish them. Um, there's a scripture that talks about that, and I believe in Hebrews that Yahweh Shai scorched every son that he he um I, I think I'm gonna butcher it. So lucky if I he scorched every son he uh, is dealing with, basically. Um, you know, and the uh, what we're going through. You know, Yahweh Shai, he he took on the a more heavier burden than we when we have to. We're you know we're we're going through a light affliction. You know this yoke is you know light. Uh, I'm gonna go to Matthew 11 and verse uh, 28. It says. Um, This is uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me, all ye, lab all ye that labor and, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So, 
it's Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, Come unto me, all ye heaven, all ye laboring and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And <clears throat> and that's what Yahweh Shah is gonna bring rest to to us for our our high bondage and our captivity that we serve. Um and to us that are laboring in this faith and this work, he's gonna give us rest, you know, in the kingdom. You know, he's gonna give us rest from this 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 captivity soon to come. Um in verse twenty nine says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, ye shall find rest unto your souls. And this yoke we're taking upon us is the cross we're bearing the cross and following and learning of Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai you know because Yahweh Shai is only called the meek uh, the lowly into this, this work and he's going to give those individuals rest you know um Verse 30 says, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And that scripture in Corinthians said, This is a light affliction. Um, this, this, what we're bearing, you know, Yahweh Shai did the heavier work. You know, this, this work is easy, but not, not, not too easy. You know, you know, this is a serious, uh, business that we're in. And um, it's not, it's an easy yoke to bear, it's light yoke to bear, but it's um, a serious, and easy, uh, it's a serious thing, you know. So, um, I'm going to say, the Lord's commandments are not grievous. Um, and I'm going to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, uh Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Saitai Shiraki and teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.